Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com, and I wanted to have a heart-to-heart -heart with individuals out there in the YouTube sphere who are under this impression of uh, covering the Burns, Oregon situation at the Occupy Malheur Refuge. I think this is an important subject that we need to cover because they continue to say that, well, we can't support these patriots because they're doing an offensive posture towards the government or they're fear mongering and saying that they're trying to start a war within uh, the United States of America and that absolutely is not the case. So I want to address right now the difference between offensive and defensive. And that is what we will be covering in this situation right now. So let's go to the definition of offensive. It is an adjective or it is a noun. Okay. It is actively aggressive or attacking. It is an attacking military campaign. To attack, to assault, onslaught, drive, invasion, push, thrust, charge, sortie, sally, foray, raid, incursion, offense, blitz, and campaign. It is a military offensive. So now let's look at the definition of Defensive. Defensive is used or intended to defend or to protect. Very anxious to challenge or avoid criticism. Protective in defending. So the individuals who are out there trying to say that the, the patriots um, moved into the refuge on a offensive maneuver are completely incorrect and I'm getting ready to show you why. Okay, so as we well know before I get this started, as we well know, the BLM all over our union has burned lands, has burned buildings, has burned cattle, has killed cattle, has burned fencing, has put people's lives in danger with their fires, and almost caused deaths due to this. They have been uh, involved with uh, shooting cattle, stealing water, stealing land. They are the aggressors. Make no mistake. They are the ones who have pushed people to the point that they now have to defend themselves. The people in Burns, Oregon have been terrorized by the BLM agency. The people in Burns, Oregon are controlled mostly by the monetary part of the BLM especially the ones whom the sheriff and other individuals are involved with. They are not going to speak out against that which puts their food on the table. Many, many, many ranchers, many townspeople have been coming out and telling the patriots of just the exact horrible actions and unlawful actions and treasonous actions of the BLM. They have been allowed to get by with theft, with murder of animals, livestock, stealing private property. By all means, explain to me how the Patriots are in an offensive maneuver. They are not. They are defending their neighbors. They are defending those who cannot stand up and defend themselves because they were too afraid and terrorized. And now the people there in Burns have a voice. 
So I'm going to show you what this, this right here was in Oregon. This right here, what I'm getting ready to show you was done by the BLM years ago. These people have been living with this for years. So all individuals that are claiming that the patriots that are occupying the refuge, that are restoring the land back to the people and stopping the abuses of the BLM terrorizing them, don't dare try to, to use that as an excuse that they're going on an, in an offensive posture. No, they are not. They are finally, thank God, standing up and defending those who couldn't stand for their self. Know the difference between offense and defense before you start attacking the people who are standing for the weaker among us. Let me show you what BLM has been doing to the ranchers and to the people of Oregon. And then you tell me, who is the one that started this? Who is the one that was on the offensive? Who is the one? It certainly is not the peaceful patriots, and just because they're armed, it doesn't mean anything. That just means they know how to defend themselves if it comes down to it, which I do not believe it will. And I am tired of the rhetoric. I am tired of these individuals on YouTube trying to worry about Blaine Cooper or Stanley Hicks. Of which I looked at myself. You can look at the FOIA document. It is not a real FOIA. And even with, if it was a real FOIA, when you research the program that claims that it is Blaine Cooper on an obviously fake document, that's not being a part of the Marines. Blaine Cooper has said on many occasions that he is not a Marine. Who cares, people? Get off of the individual's Get on to what the real issue is. It is stopping you in Agenda 21 in its tracks and you're worried about one little person who is over there. Stop with the infighting and see the bigger picture. Do you really think that one little man, and I don't know Blaine, but I'm going to tell you something. One little man is not going to stop this movement. And nor are your personal attacks worrying about the only thing is one or two people that are over there. And if you think for one minute when the revolution happens that the people standing up for the United States of America, the liberties, and for our people will not have some sort of criminal record, it, it, you're delusional. In this day and time, there is absolutely, it's hard to find people who don't have a criminal record because of the criminal government. Whose side are you on? This is not about an individual. This is about protecting American people from the government terrorism that is going on. Stop the infighting. Stop the lies and stand up for the people of Burns, Oregon that need us to stand for them. Here's what BLM has been doing to Oregon. Right around Burns. For years. You tell me who was the one on the offensive.
here's the issue. We've got uh, BLM went in and lit fire along the uh, <coughs> hillside here by the town, but there's nobody here. It would be easy with a couple of guys with shovels right now to put this out, and uh, we'd have a good fire break, but when the wind hits it, it's going to carry it right on along the hill and down to French Glen, which is right there. So and if it creeps away from the hill, obviously in the foreground, there's a lot of fuel. So it looks like it's set to burn French Glen, and that's what they said they would do. So here we go. So as you can see, they brought the fire right to us. It was uh, way west last night when the sun went down, it was dying down. Somehow overnight, it ended up right here. It's pretty obvious that this is man lit. Well, I'm at Gary's Krells here, and uh, last night, well, nobody's around. They lit the fire right here close to everybody's houses, and we're going to have a hell of a lot of fire come evening. They're not putting it out, they're lighting it. This is a bunch of bullshit, let me tell you. We're standing at the Krells, and them sons of bitches started at the corner of the road where it leaves the pavement, and they're lighting that son of a bitch on fire all the way around it. They're going right down that. I'm standing here, me and John Whistle. You got a water truck and stuff, and the grader is building a fire line, and they're building a the fire all the way around it. Yeah. And it's a flaming. Upwind of it. And yeah, and we're on there. We're smoking coming right out. Well, John's taking pictures right now, and he said that they told him they're going to torture all the way around to the Sea Bar Sea Road, and Noose Wander's cows are fence cornered up down there right now. Gary lost 11 already. They're just about to burn that outfit up. Nobody's there. They lit the fire and moved right on. This is what they've got lit upwind of us right now. They're putting in a whole line of fire right along that juniper post fence and burning the fence up, number one. But then they're. Somebody ought to get his head rubbed in the gravel out there. They're going to continue right on to the west, sounds like, clear up past Leon's cows. So his cows are going to be wrapped in it here pretty quick. So they're still lighting, burning fences, power poles, you name it. This is the fire that would endanger French Glen. There's still nobody around. This guy down the road told us he didn't have any resources to put it out. But down the road about two miles beyond the turn out of sight is at least a dozen pumpers sitting there eating snacks and whatnot. I got there determined they're gonna burn everybody out. They're lighting it up here. Again, got Jimmy and Gary and those guys uh, right downwind of where these guys are lighting fire again. We're heading trying to go help save the corral system and uh, get the pale Jimmy out of trouble. Yeah, he said, I will arrest you. This highway is closed, God. I said, well, I gotta get on the other end of the fire. You ain't, you ain't going, he said. I said, well, we got to get over there because if you burn me out down there. Well, so yeah, this is what we got. Those guys that we just went by upwind, they're lighting it. Have it coming right to us here. We're going to try to spray this down. No place to go with the cow except in the krell. A lot of them are already burnt really bad from them guys lighting them and trapping these cattle in the fire. They trapped a bunch of them last night. And then they went upwind of us here and lit it up. So we're at Gary's Krells. Here's a cow that's been burnt really bad. We got these guys gonna light fire up from us again. They don't care where we're at or what's going on, but so. So here's what we got.
Well, there goes the house up in smoke that they surrounded with fire earlier. The house is going up, totally caused by BLM. Okay, so as you can see, and this is only one example, one, I am also going to share with you some of the horrible things that the residents in Burns County are saying, not what you'll see on the fake town hall meetings, but out of the real town hall meetings. People, you need to quit with the infighting. You need to quit worrying about one or two individuals that are there. And you need to realize, number one, the Bundys and the Patriots that are there are there in defense of the people of Burns, Oregon, and the surrounding counties. They have been terrorized for years. And to suggest that the Patriots are there to start a war with the federal government is nothing but a fear tactic and misinformation or flat out lies. If those individuals that are putting this mess up on YouTube are really truthers, then they would be putting out the truth of the live footage of all the Burns residents that are coming into that refuge, helping the Patriots, thanking the Patriots, standing with the Patriots. Stop with the infighting. Stop with the propaganda. Stop with worrying about stuff that doesn't matter. And start worrying about your neighbor. Start worrying about our brothers and sisters that are in Burns, Oregon. None of those patriots have threatened or been in any threatening manner towards the federal government, nor towards local law enforcement. That is all propaganda and lies. And if you watch the live streams, you will see that. Pete Santilli has some really good footage. Now, I am not just promoting Pete Santilli. Let's be clear. I'm promoting the truth. And the fact of the matter is, he live streams for everybody to see what is going on, whether you like him or whether you don't, is irrelevant. Stop with worrying about the smaller, stupid mess and start worrying about our people and our union. Please, don't tell me about these patriots allegedly on the offensive. No, they're not. No, they're not. There was 
plenty of time before this ever happened. There was redress of grievances and everything else, and the quote-unquote officials refused to redress this. Sheriff Ward is not only a coward, he's a traitor. He doesn't care about answering the redress of grievances. Why? Because he is in with the federal government. And what I mean by that, let, let me be specific. What I mean by that is almost 60% of the funds that go into Burns, Oregon are by the federal government. I am not saying, and let me be clear, I'm not saying he is getting a payoff. I'm not saying anything like that. But the truth of the matter is, had this sheriff done his job in the first place, had this sheriff protected his people in the first place, had this sheriff pressed charges on BLM agents that were terrorizing his residents in the first place, had the sheriff stood up and told the federal government, no, you are not going to terrorize my people. No, you are not going to violate the law. None of this would have occurred in the first place. Corruption runs rampant in Burns, Oregon, and it is about time you make a decision whether you truly stand for our union and for our people, or you will just continue to make excuses to attack individuals whom are there. If you have such a problem with individuals that are there and you seem to think that it is not being reported accurately even though it is being done live stream which means you would get the same footage by all means get off your computer get up and go there Tom Lacavera of Resurrect the Republic Radio is headed out to Oregon right now to make sure more live footage coverage comes out so that we can dispel the propaganda, the lies, and the manipulation. But I am deeply concerned and deeply upset that people who call themselves patriots, people who call themselves that stand for the truth, that the only thing they're worried about is a couple of individuals there instead of the bigger picture. It's time, people, to unite. It is time for people to stop using excuses to divide and conquer our people. And that is including individuals whom I've known for a long time online. To Stop with the pettiness. Stop with the fear-mongering. Everything is not a hoax or a false flag, people. And this is not one. This is not one. Now's the time to make the decision. Are you going to stand on the right side or are you just going to use any excuse in the book to not support the citizens of Burns? That's your choice. It's not mine to make. But please do not. continue to come at me uh, about Lane Cooper or, or about Pete Santilli or about feds or about this or about that. Are you not aware that the three percenters shook hands with the feds the other day? Are you not aware that the police officers are in dialogue with the three percenters? Are you, 
you're not aware of that because you're too busy worrying about digging into somebody's past. How about you worry about here and now? How about you worry about what's going on right now? Worry about the other later. Because if you are looking for any person on this earth, and that includes you, that is perfect, you're not going to find them. Nobody is perfect. And I'm not making any excuses for anything. I'm just putting it out there. Stop using the excuses. Because that's one of the reasons that the federal government, or the pretend federal government, a BLM agency, which is a private agency, has been allowed to get by with this tyranny for so long because so many people refuse to stand because there's always an excuse. I love every one of you, including those who continue to spout that the Patriots went on the offensive. No, they did not. And this crap about the Patriots stealing records, you cannot steal public records. Let that be clear. Any of those records that they are getting a hold of are available via FOIA. Why? Because we, the people, paid for those records. We paid for those computers. We paid for the making of that building. We paid for that, and they will not, I will not allow them to use my money to terrorize my fellow American people. And you cannot break into a public building. They didn't go in blasting guns blazing at people there. That is all propaganda and lies. The refuge is a public building. There is not a no trespassing sign around. It is open to the public. The buildings were open and nobody was there. Stop with spewing the lies and continuing to regurgitate them. I wish I had the ability to be there myself. I don't. But with that being said, I do have the ability to speak with individuals whose boots are on the ground. And I am not talking about just Pete Santilli. I know people who are there. Stop allowing yourselves to be used and manipulated to harm one of the greatest moments in our union's history, and that is taking back the land from the unlawful BLM. The BLM has no authority to own any land. It's not just Article 1, Section 8, Clause 17 that says that. If you don't believe it, go to their U.S. Code and look up for U.S. Code 72. They must remain within that 10 square miles, which is the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C. Do not spout to me about, oh, well, they're allowed to own territories. That was only before a state became a state. Once the state became a state, the territory is gone. And it wasn't owned by the federal government. It was being held until they were petitioned to become a state. Then they were independent, free, and sovereign. The same individuals who are fighting against this are the same individuals that do videos talking about the horrid abuses of the BLM. And yet, when push comes to shove, what are they standing on? They stand on the side of trying to scare patriots and trying to tell them not to go. That ultimately is your decision. But at least make a fair and balanced decision and not because of fear and propaganda and not because of lies.
I believe Chris Ann Hall says it best. So I'm going to play for you her video and I will end this video, but please check in the description box below. As I am also going to include a congressional member on the House floor admitting to the BLM committing crimes against the people of Oregon. These crimes have never been tried. They have never been arrested. They have never been stopped. And the only ones who have had the guts to stand up to them and to protect these people are the patriots that are at the refuge. And you dare try to say they're on the offensive? No. They're on the defensive. They're in defense of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And if you don't like that and you can't deal with that, then stay out of the game. Because let's be honest, right now is where the rubber meets the road. You're either going to stand for something or you're going to fall for anything. Thank you. God bless you. And I hope, I truly have the hope, that my message sinks in. That my message makes a difference for you to be able to see what is really going on. I want you to look within yourself. How many years would you put up with your neighbors being burned out of their homes? Is that okay with you? Or your livestock being burned? Or your next town up being in danger of being burned? That is terrorism in the worst fashion and it's being done by the BLM. Would you, if it was your home, would you then stand? Would you then look at those same patriots who are standing for the individuals and birds that have been terrorized? Would you then understand that these patriots are standing in defense, not of offense? People, it is time to get a reality check. It is time to wake up and it is time to stop with the craziness. I love all of you. But I truly have the hope you will get over the petty differences and stand up for what is right. You don't have to agree with everything. Do you understand that? Just stand up for the truth. That's it. When you stand up for the truth, you can never go wrong.